guys, when you just look at it, what a rush that was. That was the most fun test ride I've had in a while. Uh, this thing is an absolute freaking rocket ship. I just got on a brand new Husqvarna 350 motocross bike as I rode this, and I was like, what a turd. It's got no torque compared to this. Why? This is a full-on race motor, guys. This is 540 cc's of fire-breathing, board and stroke, ported, polished, big carb, open header, super trap monster. This thing will absolutely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, it'll definitely, it'll, it'll, it'll rip your house off the foundation and probably your neighbor's house too, man. This thing's an absolute monster. It'll wheelie in every gear. Um, what you're looking at, if you're wondering, this is a, zoom in on the frame. Show them up on the headstock and the, the, the down tubes. This is a night racing frame, nickel plated night racing flame frame. This is something that the national riders would use, local pros. Dave Austin, a good friend of mine, local pro rider, this was his bike, multiple championship winning frame. Um, that trailer right there is his trailer, had four number one uh, plaques on there. They were getting a little ratty from uh, age, so I, I, I took them off and, and uh, put one new one on there in memory of his accomplishment. But this thing's freaking awesome. Uh, it's got, like I said, the motor's built, it's bored, it's stroked. It's got the attachment on the side for the power starter, battery starter, and also has a kickstarter on it if you want to kickstart it too. Um, it runs freaking amazing. It's carbureted beautifully. We just re rebuilt and tuned the carb. Uh, it's got VP fuel in it. It's got uh, new engine oil in it. It's just been completely tuned up by the wizard and it's ready to go. Back to the frame, night racing frame. Heading to the front end, zoom in on the triple clamps. These are Weiss racing triple clamps with the oversized forks on here um, set up by Race Tech for, uh, they have the, um, special valving and uh, adjustments on here for compression and uh, spring preload. The uh, triple clamps are a billet, Weiss Racing triple clamps, upper and lower, lower with the Timken roller head bearings. It's got a Vortex handlebar on here with an Ori grip. It's got the half turn throttle on here. Uh, kill button, clutch cable are, are both new. It's got a new set of tires on here that, that Dave just put on here before we got it. So um, they're top of the line, flat track Dunlop tires. Just a beautiful piece, man. The exhaust is a super trap. Uh, in the video, we were running it without the baffles on there. We just put them back on there. Uh, it's a little bit qu quieter, and I think you need those to qualify for the races. Check out the, the rear suspension on here. These shocks are freaking awesome. Uh, these are uh, WP racing shocks. Same thing that KTM puts on all their bikes now. You can see it has aluminum inner fender, uh, fiberglass seat. It's got a Saddleman flat track seat on here. Absolute rocket ship. Uh, the uh, steering dampener, it's got a custom steering dampener on there. Um, if you want a bike to do, I mean, this would be a cool thing to turn into a, a street tracker, uh, put some lights on it and get it registered for the street. That would be kind of, that would be really cool. Show up at Daytona with this thing. Or if you want to get into flat tracking, either vintage flat tracking, the motor's in 1979, so it would qualify for vintage racing but the, the frame is uh, still relevant by today's standards and so isn't the motor because it's a monster. You could race it against the new bikes. Uh, we put a brand new gold chain on it. Um, went right through it top to bottom. It's been detailed. It's gonna go back in a detail shop for a final wash. So I got it a little dirty, zooming around there. But um, like I said, it's got way more power than, than, a, than a modern uh, four stroke I just got off of because it's set up for, it's a, it's a full race build on the motor. So the graphics are Steiger Racing. Uh, Steiger Graphics, the XR540 logo, the number one with the AMA flat track on there. Um, BP94 fuel, the, it comes with the starter. You, you're gonna get this with it. I don't know what this costs separately, but we just put a brand new battery in it. And uh, it's, it's uh, you don't have to use it, but it sure makes your life a lot easier. That's for sure. Um, new gold chain, new Ori grips, new battery for the starter. It's a steam clean, hand wash, polished the grease, they polished the frame, they repainted the engine. Uh, polished the exhaust, polished the wheels, the forks, all the hardware. So it's been completely polished. The wheels, the forks, the hardware, etc. touched up. The tank uh, was buffed and polished. It's got the new Honda graphic on here. Christy actually did that. It's got the new XR540 flat tracker logo on the front here. Guys, it's ready to go. Uh, Heyman Law was one of his sponsors. Uh, John Heyman is also a benefactor of the museum, so I left those on there. Check it out. Come here. This is the trailer that he had that went with it. Um, you can see this is, this is him him on this exact bike right here. Uh, he won multiple, he won three championships, uh, four, four championships, excuse me. Uh, then all the plaques are on here, we took him off. He was sponsored by a local Harley shop, TSI Harley Davidson, also by John Heyman, Heyman Law, so we left those graphics on there. So if you have any questions about this bike, it's obviously an absolute dime piece. It runs like brand new, 
and it's fast as hell. You can see it's got the night racing swing arm on there. Has